Hello, welcome back to Emmy's Diary. On today's session, I'll be showing you how to cut and sew the very beautiful dress that you saw earlier in this video. I uh, will be needing a basic uh, bodice pattern for to draft this uh, this dress. So if you don't know how to draft a basic pattern, uh, bodice pattern, please kindly click on the link in my description box. It takes you directly on the video on how to draft a bodice. Okay, so what I'm doing here basically is just uh, um, tracing the front uh, bodice, you know, to get the back. You know, this makes the work really easy instead of starting all over again to draft the back bodice. You just use the front one and trace it. Then here I'm drawing the back neckline. Uh, it's obviously higher than the front neckline or usually higher than the front neckline. So that is just what I just finished doing. So the next thing that I'll be doing now is to, you know, separate the front bodies from the back. I'm also um, labeling it, you know, just for clarity's sake. So what I'm about to do now is just to separate the front. You know, what I'm doing now is just uh, cutting from the traced part. I'm cutting the front. Uh, the highlighted part is where I'll be cutting. If you have a problem with how to draft this bodies, please just kindly click on the link. I have a very well explained video on how to draft a basic uh, bodies pattern. It is with these bodies that we'll be drafting uh, the skirt, um, this very beautiful dress, okay? So here I'm just trying to cut out the back, you know, the traced part that I, uh, the way I traced, I'm just cutting it out to have my front and my back bodies in um separate sheets as you can see in this video okay so this is the front where i'm measuring right now and i'm just trying to make the neckline wider because that one is the standard neckline that's the neckline you use for turtlenecks and all that but since the dress i'm making is not a turtleneck i'm uh, increasing the wideness of the neck by one inch and I'm going down also by about 7 inch. It depends on the depth of uh, the V that you want your dress to have. So I don't want it to show a lot of cleavage like the one that I have in my mannequin. So I went up a little by, let's say, 1 inch. So what I have for my front is I went down with a depth of almost um, 7 inches or less. It depends on you, like I said earlier. So I'm just also tracing the back neckline so that it matches with the front uh neckline so that when i'm attaching them i don't uh, get confused so this is the front part of the dress and the other one is the back so what i'm doing now is there's a very tiny yoke i don't know if it's to call it a yoke on the dress if you look at it very well you will see it so i'm going to cut that part out okay so that's the yoke of the dress and what i'll do next is to you know measure up the the uh, wideness of the part that i cut that's this part so that I can slash and spread. Okay, just watch what I'm doing right now. Okay, this is what I'm doing. I've measured it and I've decided to, you know, divide it by 1.5. And uh, I was going to slash and spread, you know, to get my little pleats that were in the video uh, that I showed you earlier. Or in this picture that you can see right now. So after drawing the line, I picked up the back bodies. And I also drew the... Um, measurement for the back yoke as you can see in this picture I used six inches uh, it depends on you and how you want to style your own dress so after I marking my six inches I drew a straight line so I went ahead to do the same thing that I did for the front but this measured out the distance or the wideness of that part and uh, decided to divide it by I think it was still 1.5 or 2 inches in this case because it was wider than the front also. So what I did was I measured 2 inches and I put the back yoke, you know, just to label it so that I don't make mistakes. So what I'm doing right now is to draw the lines that I'm going to be slashing through. I'm slashing through these guys uh, this time, guys, not uh, two. You know, you can slash through and slash two. I'm slashing through because the down part of the uh, the uh, bottom part of the back bodies will also have garters. So I'm just also um, labeling the lines so that when I cut them out and I'm trying to attach them or to slash and spread them, I would know which part is for which exactly. So guys, it will be very important for you to label your papers and, uh, you know, 
just for easy identification because you're practically separating the whole papers so that you don't confuse uh, the number one for number three and vice versa so this is just what i'm doing here okay so i forgot to you know i forgot the measurement that i took for the upper part so i'm just trying to arrange the papers together you know to take uh, the exact measurements i'm recording i could have just edited this part but because i want everyone to know that you could make mistake and not just start all over again but uh, you could just go back and uh, make amends like I did here so I registered that it was 6.5 inches so I wrote it down just so that I don't uh, forget because after slashing and spreading I would have to gather it up to that same exact uh, inches that I had before okay so that's my purpose of uh, writing out the exact inches so what I'm doing now is I'm spreading okay so this is me trying to spread i did not spread too much because i didn't want the clothes to be too bulky as you can see in this picture it was not bulky so i was spreading by one inch so after one inch space i put in the second number of the of the already labeled uh, front bodies so as you can see i've already done number one now i'm doing number two at exactly the one inch spare, uh, um, extra space that i added for up and the down part so this is just it you do this for everything until you get to the end of the of 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 the whole four parts of the front bodies so guys please if you have not subscribed yet to my channel please do like i always tell you uh this channel is going to be very in interesting and uh, if you're willing to learn a lot a lot please just kindly subscribe so that when i post videos you'll be notified and kindly not forget to hit the notification bell when i post new videos so that you can get uh notified so this is it i have also realized that after and spreading through i'm um, just recording the new inches that i had which was about 10.5 as you can see in this video just so that i know that i slice i i do the gathers back to the exact uh, uh part that it was so i also realized that i didn't uh, measure the down the, the the bottom part of the top so i had to measure using the back remember that i used the front to trace the back so because i had already slashed uh, uh, slash and spread the front i decided to measure with the back and it still gave me so i wrote it down so that i know the exact part the uh, inches that i'm going to gather off the down part of the of the uh, uh of the dress too okay i hope you're not confused if you are please kindly drop a message ask tell, asking me questions that you're confused about and i'm here you know to answer all your questions so the same thing that i did for the back i'm also doing uh, for the front i'm also doing for the back okay i'm slashing and spreading through uh the whole back pattern so guys what video would you want me to do next please kindly let me know whatever it is that you want me to show you how to make i would appreciate that you let me know in the comment section i just want this channel to be really interactive let it not be about all about me kindly let me know what you would want me to do first i'm here i'm very available for all of you so i like i did in the front part of the dress i'm also you know increasing or slashing and adding one inch through it because i don't want the bulkiness of the gathers to be a lot so this is my front and my back bodies are uh, already slashed and spread so i'm just labeling it you know just to make my work easier you know i'm just saying that you cut on food two pieces and all that just to make the work really easy so it depends on you and how you operate if you don't forget easily you could decide to you know avoid doing so so what i'm about doing now is cutting my front uh, pattern in my fabric this is a crepe fabric i use the fabric that is quite flowy and uh, a little light because i wouldn't want the clothes to be really heavy as the sample that i was working with was already light so and i also feel like the style is going to be better on a light uh, fabric so this is the back pattern i have cut and i added my zipper allowance as you can see in this uh uh video right now so i'm about to cut the front part of the uh, of the of the dress so guys have you realized that when you you draw your pattern before cutting it really makes your work easier and you save a lot of fabrics so this is the sleeve that i'll be making if you notice the dress also you will see how the sleeve is 
as you can see in the picture beneath so i'm just cutting the upper part of the sleeve that's the part before the uh 360 or whatever kind of flay you would want to cut depending on the amount of fabric you have so if you notice there's a little puff on the sleeve so i just uh, spread it a little just to get a little fullness on the bottom part of the sleeve so i'll be gathering this part that i'm cutting right now just to get a little fullness that uh, you can see on that uh, sleeve okay so i'm adding my sleeve allowance i also i also drop the link on how to cut a, a, a basic sleeve uh, okay and uh, just kindly watch the video is quite easy and i told you like i did in the video that it's for every kind of sleeve i don't bother to cut for size 10 or and i use the same sleeve and just add a little allowance so what i'm doing now is cutting the back yokin so i'm cutting on fold because there is no zipper in this dress the dress has buttons in front as uh, you have or, or already earlier seen okay so i'm just cutting the back uh, yoke and uh, adding my zipper allowance also please you guys remember to add your zipper allowance and you, you it will be nice for you to pin up your work or your patterns before cutting just to avoid any kind of mistake so this is the front part you know i'm also cutting out the front part and i'm also adding my that's the front yoking of the dress where the gathers up will form okay so i'm also doing the same thing right now and uh, leaving my sewing allowance too so what is left for the upper part of this uh, dress right now is just the flay on the sleeve uh, the sleeve of the of the dress so uh, i think i'll be cutting the flay right now okay i'm just showing you everything that i had already cut this is the front this is the back there's the yokin and there's the sleeve over there so i'll now go ahead to cut the flay of the sleeve uh okay before i did that i just decided to cut the skirt because i could manage the fabric to cut the flay so it will be very important for you to you know make a very conscious decisions before you cut the flay now you wouldn't see fabric to cut uh, the lower part of your dress so i decided to cut the skirt first so guys i already showed a video on how i sew my own pencil skirt uh, or straight skirt depends on you so i'm cutting a straight skirt it's not so pencil so yeah, i'll also drop a, a description a link below in my description box so that if you want to know how i'm able to draft this uh, skirt it's easily it's easy it's easily attached in the description box so that you could just uh go watch it i can assure you that if you make your skirts like so you would have a very perfect result so what i'm doing now is because the front has a like more like an allowance where i attach my button that means the front of my skirt has a joining so i'm just giving out that uh two inches where i'm going to be starting my measurement from so it is from that two inches that i start my measurement and it's also from that two inches that i will cut out my uh, allowance for my buttons and uh, for the line that runs in front of the dress uh as you have earlier seen so i'm just joining my hip uh, my back my hip the hip the waist of my skirt to my hip uh guys just watch the video on how i make pencil skirts is already in my channel kindly subscribe so that you could uh, get notification when i post new videos i am just only cutting the skirt here the link is below i'm going to attach it i think i've said this so many so many times <laughs> So guys, uh, what would uh, like I earlier asked, what would you want me to you know film next? Just kindly let me know, and uh, share my channel with your family and friends. I promise you that my channel will be very, 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 very uh, educative. If you are a seamstress, a wannabe seamstress, or just someone who wants to sew for fun, I think this is the best place for you to be. So right now I'm about to cut the back part of the skirt. I have placed a sample of the front. And I'm also taking out the zip allowance that I did because the back doesn't have any joining. Just like the upper part of it, it also doesn't have. Okay, so I'm just uh, taking out my zipper allowance so, uh, so that I cut exactly from where I started my measurement from. Like I always say, if you have a problem 
or you don't understand anything or some things that i'm saying in this video kindly drop a comment i would want this channel to be very interactive i promise that i'll be there to answer your your whatever question or concern that you have and i'm here also to learn so whatever you think that i'm not doing right or you'd advise me to do better please i'm here and i would uh, definitely listen to what you have to say and uh, of course make amends so because i finished cutting the upper part and the down part just the flay that is left and i have a sex fabric i decided to cut my flay for the down part of my sleeve as you can see in this video i took out five inches flay everything depends on you you don't have to copy everything directly you could decide to make your flay really big you could decide to make your sleeve shorter but one thing i can assure you is that this dress is a very beautiful dress and it's a dress that everyone should try please 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 kindly subscribe so that when i post a video on how to sew this dress you would uh, get notifications and uh you will watch the video and uh, of course get updated okay so i'm just cutting out the second flay that's for the other sleeves sleeve okay so that is just basically it and after this i am done with cutting this uh very very beautiful dress thank you so much for watching my videos do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned for very exciting uh uploads thank you so much and bye